in this problem, we're multiplying monomials and, and dividing monomials here. Um, so what do we do? Well, the basic idea of all these problems is that, and once you get this, I think you'll see it, it's a very fast way to just cancel out once you get the hang of what's happening. Well, we're, we're to have 24 times x squared times y in the numerator. And in the denominator here, we have 6xy cubed. That means 6 times x times y cubed. Well, we put these fraction lines in here, and I'm grouping them this way because multiplication is associative. Right? I could say that, I could look at this whole term at once and this whole term, or I can think of them like this, right? Group them in an easier way. And this allows me to do some major reduction, right? 24 divided by 6 is what? That's 4. x squared divided by x, what's that? Well, let's, look, let's expand it just to look at it. Looks like this, okay? And then y over y cubed, that's just y over y times y times y. What can we do with this? We can do the same thing here that we did in the beginning. 4 times, well here we could say, that's just like x times x, and x times over 1, right? This is 1x down there, regrouping. And here I'm going to regroup. Okay. Times, well here it's y over y, and then these two y's are left over, so I can say that they're 1 over y, right? And I haven't changed anything, I'm just rewriting it in a different way. And that's, in fact, I guess I'm doing that the whole way through, I'm reducing. So now x divided by x divided by x is what? Well, anything divided by itself is just, just 1. And we're multiplying here, so 1 is not going to change our result. We don't need these two. Same thing here, y over y. We got that. We don't, that's 1. We don't need that because we're multiplying. So now we have 4 times x times 1 over y times 1 over y. Well, I'm going to recombine these two. So that's 4x times, well, this is 1 over y to the second power. And we're going to regroup now, right? We're multiplying. That's 4x over, when you multiply, it's just 1 times 4x. That's just 1. And then we can think of 4x as 4x over 1. So it's 1 times y squared, which is y squared. So really, if we reduce this, we get 4x over y squared, which is choice C. Oops. And a, and a quick way of solving this, this is the reason behind it, once you have 24x squared y over 6xy cubed, well, I cross that, right? 24 over 6, that's 24 divided by 6, which is 6. x squared over x, I could subtract 2 minus 1, and that's just x to the first power. And here we have y to the 1 um, over y to the third, which is y to the, y to the negative, negative second. Oops, I mean 4 here. All right, 24 divided by 6 is 4. So now, all this mess, we have 4xy to the negative second. Now, in other videos, we go over this, but y to the negative second just means 1 over y squared. So this is really 4 times x times 1 over y squared, which is just 4x over y squared, which is what we have right here. Now, if you look at these other problems, uh, this looks complicated, but the idea is the same. We're going to regroup. Right, we have 6a squared. I'm going to group that with its like term over here. We have 3a cubed. And, and I'm grouping them because I'm grouping the a's together. Next, we have our b terms. So we have b to the third times b to the fourth. And then we have c to the fourth times c. Well, here, 6a squared times 3a cubed. I'm going to rewrite that as 6 times 3 times a squared times a cubed. I'm, re I'm changing the order. That's the commutative property in play right there. And now I have the rest, b cubed, b to the fourth, and c to the fourth, c to the first. Well, 6 times 3 we know is 18. And already a and b are out because they use 9s there. Now, what's a squared times a to the third? What is b to the third times b to the fourth, and, and c to the fourth times c to the first? Well, let's just look at a simple example. If we had 2 squared times 2 th to the third, what would we have? Well, 2 squared, we can think of it as 2 times 2, and we can think of 2 to the third as 2 times 2 times 2. 
So when we multiply these two, we really have all together one, two, three, four, five twos. And all we're doing here is adding these exponents. So, and then the two remain the same. So here with a squared times a to the third, that equals a, still, still a, but this time to the fifth power. b to the third times b to the fourth is b to the seventh power. c to the fourth times c to the first is c to the fifth power. I just added the exponents, and that is which one? Oh, c. 18, a to the fifth, b to the seventh, c to the fifth. Next problem, now here, again, we can regroup, but here I'm just gonna cancel out because we know what's going on, right? 24 over six, that's four. Eight to the sixth over eight to the third, just subtract the exponents, that's x to the third. Y to the twelfth over y to the sixth, well, just subtract those exponents, we get six. Z to the eighteenth over z to the ninth is z to the ninth. And again, when you're dividing, you're gonna subtract those exponents as long as the bases Oops, z and z and y and y and x and x are the same. So which one of these matches here? B is the answer. Up next, simplify the expression below. Okay, well, same idea. 12 over 3 is 4. x squared over x. I cross them out as I go, so I don't lose track. Subtract the exponents, and I get x to the first, or just x. And then y to the third over y. Well, again, the exponent here is y to the first. So y to the third over y to the first is equal to y to the 3 minus 1, or 2. So here I'd pick A. Rita multiplied the monomials, that's this, one term connected by multiplication, and 3AB squared as shown below. Is her answer correct? Okay, well, we know that we're going to group things that are friendly with each other, like terms, and 12 times 3 is 36. Great. A to the third times A, we're going to add those exponents, that's A to the fourth, great. And b to the sixth, and, okay, this is correct, right? b to the sixth times b to the second is b to the eighth. And I would say, if I was to explain this, I would talk about the associative property, associative property, and I would say, listen, we could regroup and reorder these numbers. So we, the associative property and the commutative property. So in other words, we could change, we could change these numbers around and still get the same answer. And you would show on the lines that you know, this is the same thing as, well, 12 times 30 times 3, in parentheses we're grouping, times a to the 3rd times a to the 4th times b to the 6th times b to the 2nd, and then you work it out, each part, this is 36, a to the 7th, and b to the 8th, right? And you're combining them all to get 36, a to the, what am I saying, sorry, her, what she what she did was incorrect. Um, no. Oh my gosh. All right, sorry. This is, I was combining the wrong terms. It's a to the third times a right here. Sorry about that. That's a to the fourth. And then b to the eighth. So we get this. And you could explain that what you're doing in each of these cases is adding the exponents since the bases are the same. And if you have the room, you could even show that. So a to the third times a, for example, right? This equals a times a times a times one a, and that is a to the fourth. You could you could explain all this. You might actually have time. And the next problem: What is twenty-eight a to the eleventh b to the seventh divided by four a to the third b? So what? So here you want to group, right? So twenty-eight over 4 times a to the 11th over a to the 3rd times b to the 7th over b. So 28 over 4 is what? Well, 4 times 6 is 24. It's one of see that implanted. So 4 times 7 is 28. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. a to the 11th over a to the 3rd. We're going to subtract the exponents since the bases are the same. And it's a to the 8th power. b to the 7th over b is b to the 6th. So I would say that's my answer. And I think one more, or a couple more to go. All right, finishing up. Simplify the expression below. Again, look for those x's and combine them. It's going to be x to the 2 to the 4 power, or x to the 6th. And then y to the, what? 3 plus 2 power, which is y to the 5th. So we combine those two, and we get x to the 6th times y to the 5th, which is a. And last problem. 
What is the product of these two terms? So negative 8x squared y times negative 2xy cubed. Use the law of exponents to find the product. That's what we've been using the whole time with the laws of exponents. That's referring to when you multiply two exponents with the same base, you add the exponents, and when you're dividing, you subtract the exponents. Now, we should remember that because we have two negative factors in here, right, two negative factors multiplied by each other are positive. So in fact, you know, I'm just gonna leave those out there. I don't even need to think about the negatives because it's ultimately I'm going to get a positive answer anyway. So I'm gonna group eight times two is 16 x squared times x is x to the third power because again we're adding these exponents y to the, f there's no first but it is y to the first times y to the third is y to the fourth alright, bunch of examples here, hope they help